Well, welcome on to another lesson with Mr. Burns. In this lesson, we're going to recap straight line for higher, right? A general equation of a straight line, ax plus by plus c equals zero. And we also know that this is a general equation of a straight line as well, y equals mx plus c, right? We end up using and favouring, I would say, the majority of pupils using this formula to work out the equation of a straight line given the gradient and a coordinate point a, B. Okay, we've got horizontal lines where Y takes a value, Y equals A, A is a member of the real numbers, and we've got vertical lines, X equals B, where B is any value on your X axis. Okay, we've got a gradient formula, Y equals V over H, and we've got, again, like this, probably the, the preferred method as you go through the topic to calculate the gradient when you're given coordinate points. Okay, your structure for this here, what information do you have? Do you have points? Do you have the gradient? Do you need the points to work out the gradient? And your equation, using this and then writing it in this form. Okay, so that covers your, your third year into your national five. Okay, and the higher you'll start to meet if you haven't seen it already in your junior school, your midpoint, so your middle of your two coordinate points. Okay, so that will be the average. The average of the x values and the average of your y values. Okay, you'll also meet, again if you haven't met it already, in your third year, your distance formula. Again, using and given two coordinate points. Now this is just Pythagoras. Now you may wish, okay, because you've got all these different x1s and x2s and y1s and y2s, okay, you may wish to have this distance formula written in the same major gradient formula, so it's the difference in your x values squared plus the difference in your y values squared. Okay, so just take a minute to look at these three formulas, okay, you can probably understand that these can start to get mixed up. You know that, you do that so well at National 5. Your midpoint, your middle, okay, averaging the points out, and then your distance formula, okay, becomes another formula you would have to learn, but you have to know that that is just Pythagoras. Okay, and you'll have done this formula anyway at National 5 when you're finding the magnitude of a vector. Okay. Now at higher, you'll do a lot of points of intersection. Okay, so you'll use your formulas, right, to find points of intersection. Okay. Now, I'm going to do another video, right, which deals with the triangles. Right, with your altitudes, your perpendicular bisectors, and your medians. Okay, so really what we've got here is a recap of National 4 and National 5. We've got a couple of new formulae. Midpoint. Okay, midpoint of a line segment. The distance of a line segment. Okay, which is really Pythagoras and bringing in your knowledge of points of intersection, right, with straight lines, okay, we do a lot of that at higher by substitution, right, rather than solving them simultaneously, okay, right, thanks for watching.